Lighting is one of the most important aspects of 3D rendering that artists should nail perfectly if they are going for realism. And if you don't understand the basics of lighting, you might be confused sometimes when it comes to reaching perfection with a scene that has everything going for it, with detailed modeling, outstanding textures and materials, but it still looks like a render. You can't quite put your finger on it, but there is something about it that feels fake. Today we're gonna take a look at something called implied lighting and how you can elevate your work by incorporating it into your scene to add realism. Implied lighting is when you have an object off scene that is using shadows to add extra story or depth to the environment by showing things that are outside of the camera frame. A common trick is to add tree shadows which will be seen across the interior design or the project. And the good thing is, there is an awesome add-on that lets you do that in just a couple of clicks. Today we're gonna talk about Gobos Light Textures. The latest addition to the B production family, developers behind transportation, vegetation and the recent forestation add-ons. GoBoss is a library of animated and static light textures that can generate realistic shadows in your scenes, easily create volume, depth and realism by simulating the real world. It offers 90 plus assets and that includes textures with animated leaves which can cast realistic shadows in your renders. GoBoss is a collection of light textures that you can import into your asset manager and drag and drop it into your scene with just one click. The library is divided into 9 sections or categories which are abstract, caustic, cloud, forest, geometric, grid, leaves, windows and animated leaves. To see all the light textures, open up the asset browser window and from the drop down menu select Gobo's light textures. Now, all you need to do to add lights to your scene is drag and drop it into your scene. It is also important to know that Gobo's textures are not compatible with Eevee, so it only works with cycles. With the light selected, you can adjust the light settings in the properties panel like the power of the light or the radius which allows you to add blur to your shadows and you can also adjust the light tint, the spot size and the blend for a more soft gradient outline. You can adjust the lights and the animations even further if you jump to the shader editor. You can control the speed of the animation, the scale, distortion and deformation when using the caustic category. You can also control the scale of the texture by changing the scale on the mapping node. These light textures add so much realism to your scene and make it look bigger than the scope of the camera. Also it is better visually and can break the boring one light source. This also makes your lighting much more interesting and dynamic, especially when using it with one object, as it casts realistic volumetric rays. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful, if you did, please give it a thumbs up, you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.